Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Bogey King. We're glad you're here today. Today I have another product review video for you. Something I purchased a couple weeks ago and I've been dying to try out, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to experience it for the first time with all of you. And so if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know that I love new golf gear, I love new clubs, I love new gadgets, and so I try to bring those initial impressions to you. And then a lot of times I'll do a long-term review and bring you the full, uh, you know, long-term impressions and uh, my, my opinion on what the product is and does it help the average golfer uh, like myself. So today's product we're going to review is the Callaway Jaws Wedge in a 52 degree. Now I have a Callaway Jaws 50, or 60 degree wedge, I have a Callaway 56 degree sand wedge, and then I have my pitching wedge. But between the 56 and my pitching wedge, I have kind of a gap hitting my pitching wedge around 125 to 130 and I would hit my 56 somewhere in the range of like 50 up to 75. It's not one of my favorite clubs. I've told you guys that before. I'm not really uh, crazy about that one. So I was trying to find something that could kind of fill that gap. And so after doing some research, talking to my local club pro and getting advice from folks at Golf Galaxy, uh, I came up with the 52. So this should be nicely between the pitching wedge and the 56 somewhere i think on average around the 100 yard mark and so um that's what we're here today to find out i'm going to uh hit some here on the range i've got my garmin r10 set up so we can do some analysis on distance on the club uh, head speed on the ball spin rate i'm going to hit a couple with my 60 degree a couple with the 56 and we'll do some comparisons to those numbers and then I hope to be able to go out on the course and we'll set up a couple of balls um, in that distance range and we'll hit them towards the green and we'll see how things uh, shake out. And then I'll give you, you know, my full honest opinion on this. This is a purchase that I made myself. As I always share, I'm not sponsored yet. And uh, so, you know, even when I become sponsored, it's something that um, we're always gonna bring honest reviews to you as something that is important to me. And I hope it's important to you because, you know, I wanna know, will these things help me out when I'm out on the course? And do they really make a difference? Or are they not worth it? And that's what we're here to find out. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that bell. It goes a long way to help the channel. Here at Bogey King Golf, we seek to inspire, to educate, do product reviews, and have fun. And so today, uh, we're here to do a product review. So why don't we get started and we'll get set up and uh, hit some balls and figure out how uh, this club performs. All right, so here I have them laid out. I have my 60 degree on the left, I have my 56 in the middle, and then I have the new 52 degree on the right. Uh, the 60 degree is a Jaws Wedge series, with the M it's the MD5, and the middle is the PM Grind Wedge in the 56. You can see it's got a little higher uh, club face, a little more um, elongated, and then the grooves are all the way across. So that is supposed to give you, you know, max forgiveness, um, and I think some, you know, enhanced distance and spin. And then you see the 52 on the far right that has obviously brand new, has it to be hit. And um, both the other two are in the dark metal. This is in just the plain silver, which I think looks great. You know, either way, um, I typically go with what's available or what I like. Um, I do like the darker finish, but in this instance, it's what they had. So um, it'll work. All of these retail for uh, $160 US dollars. Um, they are available at Golf Galaxy, Dick's, right from Callaway directly, and then from you know other golf pro shops. Uh, and I really encourage you to go hit them. I went and hit them at my local Golf Galaxy, okay. and then so out here on the range, I've got my Garmin R10 set up, got my phone, so I can see the stats as we go through. I'm gonna start and just hit a couple with my 60 degree, something that I normally uh, hit, I'm used to, and so we'll get some baseline numbers. We'll go up to the 56 and then we'll go ahead and hit the 52. So that was a monster shot with the 60 degree. I did not hit that uh, clean, I got it a little thin. So we went about 108, um, relatively straight, only three yards to the right, uh, 98 carry. And that's uh, real quick, let's just see. Uh, that was a 5906 backspin. Um, so 5900 RPMs of spin. Second shot, hitting it 
really hitting these thin, so I'm catching them that way. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. That was 54, pretty straight. That had uh, only a 1500 uh, spin rate and about a 45 degree carry. Now we're gonna switch to the 56 degree. We'll get some numbers with this one. Change this up. Now I've mentioned before, I'm not really a fan of this club. I, I don't, I've got hit, started hitting it better. Like that wasn't too bad. That was 55 yards, 47 carry. Um, let's see what the spin rate was. So a thousand RPMs. I really got into that one, really went short. Yep. So that felt pretty good. That was 84 yards, 78 carry. Curious to see what the spin rate was. So 4,300 RPMs. Uh, so, you know, got more spin on that one, definitely. A little bit of side spin. So, not too bad. Let's go with one more with this, and then we'll go ahead and we'll hit our 52 degree for the first time. That one went about 90. Definitely swung pretty hard. Carry was 81, 1300 RPMs. So now we have the 52 degree. I'm a big fan of Callaway, of Callaway clubs. Obviously, pretty much my whole set is Callaway. Um, I've hit other clubs, I've tried other clubs. I just tend to favor Callaway. So here we go, first hit on the 52. That felt really good. So that went 124 total, 115 carry. So, you know, if I'm looking for distance between my pitching wedge and my 56, this is what it is. 5,100 in terms of spin, 2,100 side spin. So that's interesting. So I'm looking to, you know, land this in the green with some spin, try to get it to bite. Um, that spin could definitely come in handy, you know, out in the course. So we're gonna take this out, we're gonna play um, we're hopefully going to shoot some around the green and get an idea too. So that one felt pretty good too. That's more what I expect. 86 carry, 93 total distance, 2300 spin, 1300 side spin. So definitely getting uh, more side spin with this club. And that could be my swing, um, but so far, so good. Caught that. A little bit of an open club face. 95 carry. Probably average with my D6, about 76 total distance. So that one, 81 carry, 90 total distance. Again, the you know total distance can be uh, can vary based on the course and the conditions that you're on. Uh, typically, you know with these, I look at the carry distance and see um, you know where it's carrying to. My whole my, my goal is to like know that it's going to sit on the green because especially in like the heat of the summer when the greens are hard and fast and you get a lot of, you know, don't get a lot of bite. You want that spin to take place so that your ball can sit down um, versus bouncing off the back, which I tend to do with my pitching work, unfortunately. That was 127 total, 113 carries. So again, you know, really not too bad. 
I like how this feels. Uh, one thing I'll say is I like the grips. Uh, all my Callaway clubs use these uh, standard Lambkin grips, uh, the UTX series. I gotta say they feel nice and soft. It's, uh, I think, a good diameter. It's not too big and bulky in my hands to where I don't feel like I have control. And overall, it, it, it's, you know, it, it works for me. I'm used to it. I have tried um, other club grips. I will be changing my grips at some point. And we'll do a video on that for the channel. But for now, I really do like the standard grips that these Callaway clubs come with. So that was 114 carry, staying 121 total distance. In case you're wondering too, I have done the firmware update on the Garmin R10. So this is the newer firmware that's supposed to have improved some of the accuracy. Uh, so far, it seems to be spot on. Um, maybe someday we'll do a video, get this compared to a Trackman or one of the others. But I really have valued this tool from this perspective, being able to come out to the range, work on the, you know my game, work on different aspects, and be able to see it viscerally and also understand the numbers behind it. So that one was, like I said, 121 total, uh, 3,900 RPM backspin, and then some spot, uh, some right side spin. So, uh, but really, maybe just a baby cut to it. Not too bad uh, overall. So that one says 103 carry. The one thing I noticed about that, which you won't be able to see on the camera, is when that landed, it, it kind of stuck, it, it sat. I definitely could tell it was spinning, so I'm curious to see what the spin rate was. Yeah, that was 5,700 RPM, so that was almost 6,000 RPMs of backspin, it bit and it stuck, which is exactly what I'm looking for out of this wedge from that, from that distance. I'm loving it. This thing is just sitting down. That was 88 yards carry, and it just lands and sits. And that is, that's what I want um, out of this club. Uh, I may have shared before, my pitching wedge is great. I'm very comfortable hitting it. It's one of my favorite clubs, but from a distance in that space, if I have to lay up or I'm trying to hold off and not swing full, I'm definitely noticing that I'm just, I'm not getting the bite, I'm getting the skip. It skips off the back and obviously you know the goal is to get the ball to stick on the green that's really what i want out of this guy is those you know close range shots that i can get the stick that maybe beyond my 60 and my 56. so 78 to a couple more and then we'll head over to the course and play some Love this thing, just sticking it where I want it. Sounds a little bit shorter, but not terrible. 62 carry. So the one thing that I tell people all the time, and I will recommend to you, my viewers, is there's a lot of use that comes out of being on the driving range and working on different aspects of your game, but there's no substitute for being out on the course. Conditions, elevation, the changes in the green, the changes in the fairway, you know, the angle of your ball. And so if you have the ability to, and when you're out on the course or you have a course you can go to, I would recommend, you know, really working on these shots and thinking about them when you're out on the course, uh, because you can practice and I think that's great, but when you get out on the course, it's gonna be different. I know several people who are able to come out to the driving range and just absolutely crush the ball. When we get out on the course, it's a whole different beast. So just food for thought. The range is awesome. It's a great practice tool. I actually really like natural ranges because they mimic more of real world conditions, but 
there's nothing like getting out in the actual course. So over the last uh, handful of shots I have hit, I would say that my, my spray is relatively center, which is really positive. Um, I have hit the gap wedge 15 times. Uh, total, the max, the distance has been 127 yards. The shortest was 69. The average total, uh, the average carry was 86. So exactly what I'm looking for out of this club is that is that sweet spot between pitching wedge and my 56. So before we wrap this up, why don't we go out on the course? It's a real slow day. When we go out, we'll hit a few from about that range and we'll wrap up the review and give you my final thoughts. So I'm out on the course now. One number 18 here at Links at St. Anne's. So my buddy Drew just came out to join me. So uh, I want to have you hit this too, see what you think. All right. So we're going to hit, we're, we're right now, we're about 100 yards uh, from where we've marked. We're about 105 right now. Um, about the sweet spot of this club. Like I said earlier, my average out there was around 90, 86 to 90. So um, this max of like 130 and then a couple of crappy ones. So we're going to uh, hit a few here from the distance that I would use this club in normally, and then we're gonna see how it does in the course, and I'll wrap it up with my final, my final thoughts. So, just a little short. Got some roll. That's all good. So the Drew has not hit this club yet. The Drew is a consummate professional. Oh. <laughs> just, a, just a hair right, that's okay. It is distance. Yeah, you got, I mean, I'd say distance-wise a little bit on me, but. Got onto that one, but. Not bad. I'm digging this club. Your swing has gotten so much bigger. I definitely have that side spin going, man. Alright, uh, let's go simultaneous. Don't get me. Alright, let me get my grass knocked off here. So. One, two, three. <laughs> I, w I was like so. Ooh. I awesome. love the sit the stove that sits down, like what, on the ground. On the like, well, I love how the club feels off the off the fairway, but like the ball, the placement obviously is pretty good for me. And then the, uh, the spin, like just the fact that they all kind of have congregated, you know, in one spot there. So that is a pretty good. Spray a couple of shorter ones here, but. All right, everyone, that does it for this week's product review of the Callaway Jaws Wedge in 52 Degrees. I absolutely love this club so far. This is a first or initial impressions video, so I will do a long-term review on this in the next few weeks after I've had a chance to get out and use it. Um, it is getting colder where I live here on the East Coast, and so uh, golf may be a little bit fewer and farther between, but we're still gonna try and get to do our best to get out. But I'll come back to the four of you. My initial impressions of this is a five out of five. Um, I love the construction, I love the feel, I love the grip. Uh, as you saw on the range, the accuracy is great. Uh, the distance is good based on what it should be good. And then out here on the course, just on this one hole, hitting a few balls towards the flag. Um, I mean, it performed well. And I've been working, you know, there's a little bit of it's gotta be me too, but overall, um, I've enjoyed using this club so far. I'm excited to use it out on the course. 
So if you're new here, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that bell to get notified of new videos. It goes a long way to help the channel. And as we say every week here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. So until next week, we hope you get out and play some golf, and we will see you next time. All right, everybody, later.